to, I was remembering something I read many, many years ago. It was a, it was a letter a man had written to his wife when he was dying, and they had been together 20 years or so. And he said something in the letter about how, at times, she was really fully into the relationship, fully there for him, fully committed to being present and being alive in it. And at other times, he was that and she wasn't. But there were some times when they were both really in the same groove, really jamming along in their lives together and totally celebrating their relationship. And his regret at the end was that they hadn't had more of those times when they were both cruising along and in full appreciation of what they had. Mm. That, that their timing was sometimes off. Um, and I found that a very poignant mm -hmm. and a very instructive mm -hmm. bit of information. It's that way often in our lives, even not in relationship, but just that, you know, sometimes we look back at a phase in our lives that was really fantastic, but that we didn't realize how fantastic it was at the time. We only see it in hindsight. And that we sometimes feel this little something in the heart of, I wish I had known at the time I was living that great, fabulous journey or that wonderful relationship or that friendship or whatever it happened to be. I wish I had known how great it was while I was actually living it. <laughs> and one can, one can suspect that you could, get, you could go through a whole life and not quite realize how fantastic, how precious, how glorious it is until suddenly, poof, end game, it's over. And how we take for granted so much. I mean, it's just a very strong habit. And we also, I think, sometimes we, we don't fully celebrate the moment we're in because we can imagine, or, and we tend to imagine, some other moment that's going to be even better. So no matter how nice the one you're in is, and it can be very nice, there's this sense that, you know, there's more to come, you know? That there's, a, there's an inner postponement holding out. I'm really going to be very excited when the big thing happens. Not just this ordinary stuff, but the really big, fabulous one. So in these ways, we, we don't entirely love with our whole heart and body and mind our present existence. We have these vague hopes and dreams and pictures and so on. And you can see from the times, perhaps you can relate to this, the times that you were having a great time in hindsight. In hindsight, you see it. But that you really didn't know it at the time. You just took it for granted or you thought, oh, this will just continue. It'll get better and better. My recommendation in bringing this up is, as I say every week, to really seize the day. Really love this. Really love your life. Be in love with your life, as Kerouac said. Just get up in the morning and start noticing all that you appreciate, all that you hold dear, and as I've been emphasizing in these weeks on the webcast, letting yourself be very like a sponge of information for the sweetnesses that are going on around you and in this world. Even though, yes, of course, there's a lot of darkness. That's what gets reported. We all know this. And, it, and it's real enough. Sure, it's, it's happening. It's very difficult, terrible things are happening. 
there's also a lot of fantastic beauty and wonderful creativity and clarity and people working as hard as they can to try to save this place. So all of that is going on simultaneously and it's not to deny the negative as I've been saying uh, and it's not to necessarily overemphasize the positive <coughs> but to really allow it its due at least the plenty of positive that there is the, the beauty the, the, the tenderness the mercy the kindnesses and your own joie de vivre your own inner light of being that feels um, you know when you just for one second tune into it is enlivening and 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 gives you a burst of joy and if not a burst of joy some of you may not be relating to a burst of joy but at least an inner peace an inner calm a delight so in this uh, in this webcast of today which is our last of a 14 week series um, I would like to just remind us all that we started out the webcast with Carpe Diem and uh, we're going to conclude with those as well with that as well. <laughs> seize the day, seize this moment. And even seize is maybe too uh, militaristic a word. Oh, just relax and celebrate this moment.